Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Today uh, we're going to examine running terminal applications. Normally they only run in your terminal, but we're going to show how to elevate them to uh, normal desktop application status. And what I mean by that, uh, we're going to run, uh, actually do like HTOP, and we can be able to find it in our list of applications here. Because normally terminal applications don't show up in, in here. So you can add things like TOP, HTOP, NeoFetch, uh, Ranger, so there's all kinds of really good uh, applications that run only from the terminal, but you'd like to be able to be able to search from them, like uh, find uh, HTOP up here and run it, or see it in all applications, or even add it to one of these categories. Uh, make sure you read the description of this video. I have a link to an article which has a few more techniques you can try. But we're just going to do some simple things here. So first of all, we want uh, let's open up a terminal, and I'll run uh, HTOP. And you can see HTOP runs, and it gives me really good information. And it'd be nice if I could just open this uh, from my regular applications. So I'm going to go ahead and quit it. And what we have to do, there's a special folder you use, uh, which you have to go to cd.local, uh, local, which is a hidden folder, share, and then applications. I'm going to list what's in here. And uh, you'll see uh, there's a thing in here called JetBrains PyCharm Desktop. Uh, this is the type of file we're going to create, a .desktop file. This actually get, got installed when I installed JetBrains uh, for my user account. So we're in um, the special folder that's in your user account, which is the tilde, .local, share, application. So the first step is to go into that folder, which we've done with the cd command. And now we're going to make a file. So we're going to make it uh, nano uh, htop.desktop. So you always name it the name of your application here, dot .desktop. And we're going to put some standard stuff in there. So we're going to put in uh, a square bracket, the word uh, desktop entry. And for your information, this is actually a type of file that's called a desktop entry file. So first we're going to say what type of uh, we're going to use this for. We're going to use it for an application. So you type type equals application, no spaces, and you uh, capitalize it as shown. And then we're going to say uh, terminal equals true. And this one, you true is lowercase. Uh, this says that I want to run this in the terminal as opposed to a normal desktop application, which means it'll bring up a terminal screen when it runs. And then you're going to say uh, the name of it. And we're going to call it htop. Now this is the name that shows up in your list of applications. So when you look at all applications, this is how it's going to show up. Um, it needs to be just one word with no spaces. And then we're going to uh, say exec equals. And this is where do you find it to execute. Um, so anything you can run from the terminal, you can just type in the name of the command, because it does use the path that's built into your system. So I'm just going to say htop. If you didn't know the path, uh, then you'd put the whole path in. So htop, I know, is in U usr slash bin htop. So either one would work. Uh, you, you only have to use the full path, though, is if you're ru running your own executable and it's not in the path variable for paths for it to search. I'm just going to say htop here. And then we'll uh, write it out and exit. Now, on some systems, you would have to log off at this point and log back in to see the change. So let's see if it, it recognized it. So we're going to type htop, and it did find it. So we're in uh, uh, Cinnamon on Mint, and uh, it looks like it, it, it scans for new files when it, they get created that are in and .desktop and adds them to the list. So we can run it, just click on it, and there it runs HTOP from our application menu. Um, we can also find it in all applications. There it is, HTOP. So we can also run it that way. Uh, you can also, uh, now that it's a regular application, 
So that's HTOP. Now let's do another program we're going to show you. There's another type of terminal program that doesn't work the same way. Uh, so we're going to go back into my uh, terminal. Go to uh, cd to dot local slash uh, share slash applications. And we're going to, it's going to be just like desktop. So instead of typing it all again, I'm going to copy htop. I'm going to say cp htop. And I'm going to copy to neofetch. Uh, if you don't have neofetch or htop installed, uh, you can install them. Or you can use top instead of htop. And instead of neofetch, you could do something like uh, free, which gives you your free memory. So neofetch.desktop. So we're copying htop to desktop, and then we're going to edit uh, neo to uh, neofetch desktop, and then we're going to edit that. So let's go ahead and edit that. And all we have to do is change the names here. So we're going to change htop, oops, and in the right place on my keyboard. Uh, to NeoFetch. And we're going to change uh, Execute to NeoFetch. OK, so let me uh, output that and save it. And I'll close the terminal. Let's see if it shows up. So we'll look for NeoFetch. There it is. So now when we run it, you'll see something interesting happens. It runs, but then disappears. So any terminal program that doesn't get user input is going to run. And when it's done outputting, whatever it's outputting, it's going to close the window it's in. So we have to do something to prevent that. So to prevent that, let me go back and open terminal. I'm going to uh, create a folder. So I'm in my home directory here. You'll see the tilde. So I'm going to, in that directory, I'm going to say make directory bin. Now I already have it, so it's going to tell me I already have it, but this would make a new one in yours. Then we're going to cd into bin. So where we are, we're in uh, home and my username and bin folder. So this is a standard place that Linux looks for executable files. But remember this, if you wanted to directly put the path to where we're going to create executable, you can remember this path. Uh, so we're going to make a new file, nano. We're going to make it uh, neofetch.sh. We're going to make it what's called a shell file, which is a little script that runs from the shell. And we're going to uh, type in neofetch to run neofetch. And then we're going to do a special command called sleep. And we're going to say sleep for 30 minutes. So what that, this do, does is it'll run neofetch, which will terminate and c come back to in the terminal with a prompt, and it's going to run the next command, which is going to say sleep for 30 minutes, which basically is a program that doesn't do anything. It just sleeps for 30 minutes. Why 30 minutes? Well, if I forget to close it, it'll stay up for 30 minutes. I mean, you could change this to S for seconds uh, and do 30 seconds or 10 seconds if you just want it to flash up, stay up long enough to read and close it. Uh, but this will work really well because I'm going to close it uh, with the normal ways so that you would close a window. So we're going to save this, uh, write it out, exit. And then we have to change the desktop file. So now we're going to uh, cd back to my home directory and then cd to dot local, uh, share applications, and you'll see. Uh, our uh, neofetch file. So we're going to nano neofetch. And uh, so if we if we didn't if it didn't work, we should should just be able to say uh, neofetch.sh here, and it'll find the neofetch.sh file and execute it. And that reminds me, I forgot an important point. I didn't make the file executable. So we're going to go ahead and save this. I'll write it out and exit. I'm going to go back to my home folder slash bin. And then I'm going to go uh, list ls.l and look for neofetch. And you'll see here it doesn't have x's. 
in permissions. So we have to add those. So the way you add that, you just say ch mod plus x neofetch dot sh, and that'll add the x's to it. So now it's an executable file. So everything should be set up, so let's try it out. I'm going to close the terminal and go to all applications, look for neofetch. See it? Okay, so I'm going to log off and back on and I'll come back to you. Okay, we're back. Uh, so let's see if it works. So we're going to go search for NeoFetch. And you see now it's picked it up. So just to just remind me, sometimes your desktop will recognize it right away. Sometimes you have to log off and back on. So we'll run it, and there it is. It's going to wait for 30 seconds. I can close it with Control C on the keyboard, or just hit the X up here, and it'll close the program. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to check the description for the link to the full article. You can learn how to put it into two categories, so that you can uh, put it in a particular category here. It's like the uh, uh, system category, like that. So uh, that's it.